Hello once again people of the internet. Today we are doing a modification on the printer for the easy swap method on the weight extruder. It allows you pretty much to be able to change filament out in a snap without needing to undo any of the screws in the back. It's just kind of a snap-on method. A guy named MS Tie Menus, I want to say. I have the link right here. He sent me the link and said, Hey, I see you like doing mods. You would appreciate this mod, and boy, do I. It is probably the best thing I've done on the printer since the wire carriage mod. It's that good. So I'm going to show you how to put that on the printer right now. First things first, I'm going to rotate the printer 180 degrees. So I've also taken the case off as well so that you can see what I'm doing better, but mainly we're going to be focusing on this part right here, the actual extruder. So the first thing you're going to do is undo both of these screws right here. And then I usually just put them on the magnetic bed, so I'm not going to lose them. You're going to take your latch down so you can expose the bearing in the back. And you're going to take a pair of pliers and a small screwdriver. And what you're going to want to do, hold the left side in with your pliers, and then go to the right side with the screwdriver, and you're going to undo the screw. And after it comes out, pull it out with the pliers, and then take your screwdriver, and push the screw through so you can grab it with your fingers on the other end. Now that that's done, this whole piece will just come out. So after you get that out, all you're going to do is just take the bearing out of place with your fingers, and then take your 3D printed carriage and put that onto there instead. And then you're just going to go put that in the exact same spot you got the other one from. You're going to reinsert the screw from the right hand side. Make sure it passes through all the holes. Take your pliers, hold the nut again, and you're going to put that on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, you're going to screw the screw in again. So once this piece is back in place, you're going to take your retainer, and the retainer is going to hold your old screws. Now, remove the springs from the screws, and then put them in the retainer. Now mine are being used with a 3mm Allen wrench and for some reason the diameter from the 3mm fits perfectly into the retainer. So I recommend you get these screws. After you put both of them on there, you're going to line them up with the nuts that are back in here. And I go around about five times. You just want to make sure that these are even right here. And the next thing is you're going to take your front and back piece and put them together with, I want to say that this was a small number eight American screw. I'm pretty sure you could use something like a two millimeter screw or something, but this is just something I had laying around my room, so I just use that. And I take my eight millimeter spring, and there is a model that works for the six millimeter as well, so that'll also do the job. And you're gonna put your bearing up against the extruder, push these down so that these are all lined up, and then you take your spring-loaded clip and you put that right into the extruder. So now your extruder has constant tension without really needing to be maintenance that much. There's no screws, no tension, and you can even adjust the tension still, but if you need to change the filament out, you move this up, pinch, remove, and this will fall back and allow you to change your filament out. And as soon as you're done changing your filament out, push this up, push this back, put that back in, and you're done. It's a crazy simple mod, and it makes changing filament out so much easier. I'd never go back to the regular tensioner with both of the screws, because one, it takes forever, and I mean, look at this. I can take it out so fast, change filament, and then just, you know, start back up right after it clips back in. I love this. I'm so glad he sent me the file and said I should use the mod. It's just perfect. So I hope this video convinces you to do the easy swap mod on your 3D printer. Because, I mean, really, you can change the filament out so quickly. I, I didn't mean to throw the spring across the room. But, I mean, it's ridiculous. It really makes changing the filament out of the printer effortless. There's no needing to remember where the tension was or anything. It's constant tension, it's perfect every single time, not to mention the fact that it's faster. Make sure you check out MS Thai Menus, interesting name, 
Um, see him on YouTube, he's the one that sent me this file, and I'm assuming he's also the one that designed the piece. If you have any questions about this video, or suggestions for future videos, make sure you leave your comments down below. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you click the subscribe button, and thanks for watching.